Have you ever heard of the World Organization for Animal Health, better known as WOE? Yes, that's the acronym, WOE. Anyway, under the Biden administration, and unfortunately still under the Trump administration, even though they are currently looking to change this, there's something called a stamping out initiative or procedure. So if bird flu is in one chicken out of 10,000, all 10,000 birds must die. And I'm gonna to talk to you about this in this video, explaining to you how I fully believe there is a reason they wanna get rid of chickens. Hello everybody, welcome back to Starkey Forms. My name is Samantha. Did you guys know there is a much bigger reason birds were killed by the millions across first world nations, not just America, but Canada, Europe, Australia, I mean, just total decimation of our chickens, basically. Our turkeys, I mean, ducks, anything that could get the bird flu, basically got a pre-mandated death. ordered the killing of millions of chickens. You're acting like we're pretending that it didn't happen. Like we're sitting going, <laughs> no, uh, Biden didn't do that. That's been the point of the argument from the very beginning. And why did he have the Department of Agriculture do it? Let's do it together. Why did Biden order the killing, the culling of millions of chickens? Let's say it together. To stop the spread of bird flu. We remember that. We also remember that despite trying to explain that over and over and over to you magas, you were still outraged over the price of eggs. You didn't care about bird flu. You just wanted to go to Waffle House and have your omelet. Hell, some of you were acting like bird flu was no big deal. I mean, then again, why should we be surprised? A couple of years ago, you were like, oh, wearing a mask and getting a little uh, ouchy. Uh, what did you call it? The Fauci ouchy? Uh, that's that's just an outrage. Now, as a small rural farmstead, I have a lot of birds that just come visit my farm. Probably because I don't use any pesticides or any of that nonsense. So when they land in my garden on my fruit trees to pick off insects that I don't intentionally poison, or they kill rodents that are in my yard that I don't intentionally poison, they know that this is a basically a safe space. I own two different chicken coops on different ends of my property. One of the reasons I do that is biosecurity. Now, biosecurity is a buzzword that as you pay attention more and more. You're going to hear it brought up from the USDA and the federal government. But anybody with a lick of sense knows what? You don't put all your eggs in one basket, baby. So what can we do at USDA to help our farmers ensure that that doesn't happen? We've had 150 pilot projects. Only one of those has gotten the avian flu. So now we put that on steroids and spread it out to America. Second, we go through some significant repopulation, ensuring that the farmers that had to depopulate, which is what Kevin Hassett was just talking about, that they have what they need to immediately repopulate, immediately start getting the hens laying again, et cetera. Third is the deregulation we just talked about. The egg industry is overregulated. They have too many rules on the books. And so while we will always focus on safety, we're also going to look at the Biden and Obama eras of putting more and more government on them. So Sam's got a chicken coop on one end of her property and a chicken coop on the other. One that is due to the fact that predators get past both my home protection dogs and kill my flock. I still have a second flock. Or God forbid, one of the birds that passes over my yard to stop and eat a snack or drink from my pond drops some manure somewhere that then somehow <laughs> makes my chickens ill with the bird. Flu. I don't lose both my flocks. Now, having said all of that, I think there is a reason that they did not allow chickens who had bird flu but didn't die from it stay alive. One of those reasons is because we know that herd immunity is passed from mother to embryo, or mother to child. So say you have 10,000 chickens on a chicken farm, 8,000 of them die, 2,000 of them survive. Well, the government was coming in saying you have to now cull the now healthy birds. Yes, they had bird flu. Yes, they survived it. 
Yes, they now have natural immunity, but yes, you have to kill them. Make that make sense. Now, the reason they're doing this, it's not just over food security, folks. It is what eggs have been proven to do for the human body. There are studies going on right now across the world proving that if you wake up in the morning and eat two fresh eggs, and baby, I'm not talking about going to uh, Aldi or anywhere else, Whole Foods, and buying eggs that are three months old that have been bleached and are sitting they're telling you that those are organic. I'm talking about finding somebody like me that has 30 plus chickens laying 30 to 40 eggs a day that has fresh eggs 24 seven and getting you some, eating two of those every single morning. It's got to do with the spike protein. Now, YouTube is after me like you wouldn't believe. Not only are they unsubscribing people repeatedly, they have demonetized me because I am not going to continue to, the American people in the world to be lied to. So if you like content like this, I'm going to need you to row in my boat. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to boring content that they will pay me for, folks, because I still have bills even though I'm debt free. Now, listen to me. If you got the jab, I'm not fussing at you, friend. Okay? I'm not. Because everybody has different reasons why they did it. I'm not fussing at people. However, I am about helping everybody feel a little bit better. If you got that thing, you need to find somebody like me, local in your community, that has fresh eggs that you can get. You need to eat them. Because listen to me, friends and family of the internet. Your health is very important, and there are things that you can do to make yourself feel better. Doing two eggs daily can help your body bounce back from colds and flus by up to 60% faster. That is fast. The Journal of Frontiers Nutrition shows that eggs are filled with choline. It's often overlooked nutrient that supercharges our immune cells, helping them find and destroy those invading germs. So eat your eggs and you'll see how fast your body will love you. Now, you know I want you guys to understand that we are in a fight for food security. I don't care how much land you have. You could have a strip of land, 20 by 20, and you could put you four to six hens in that area and secure yourself eggs for the next couple of years. It is not hard to do. You need to make sure that at this point, you are doing something, even if you're in an apartment and you have a small balcony or you have a couple of windows and you are growing something that you can either eat or you can trade for food. Because I'm telling you, when it happens, and guys, farms have been under attack since 1980. Every year it's only gotten worse. So right now, the average age of farmers in the United States is 60. That's the, the average age, 60. You've seen state after state take away the ability for farmers to leave the farm intact to their children. They have taxed that land, that farm to such an extent it isn't even worth the next ge generation taking it over. So we're fixing to, in the next 10 years, I am telling you, mark my words, be in a huge problem where food is concerned and I am talking we're gonna be begging other countries to feed us so the best thing you can do is learn to feed yourself with whatever space you have available don't tell me you can't don't put excuses in the comments figure it out everybody has a different situation it is up to you to ask God and the Holy Spirit how it is best for you and your family to prepare, friend. But let me tell you, the Biden administration and the Obama administration pushed through things like FSMA, F-S-M-A. Got another video on FSMA? Go look it up. FSMA is an Obama rule legislation to hurt small farms. It makes it almost impossible for small and medium farms to meet the safety standards to grow and sell food. Yet, if you make less than $28,000 a year off your farm, you don't have to meet it. If you make more than $500,000 a year, 
you don't have to meet those standards. Now you make that make sense. Now, under the Biden administration, we saw two different situations where gag orders were issued to forms from federal agencies. One was the parks, federal park agency. The other was the forestry service. Both times what they were doing to those farmers was illegal. Now you have Great Britain, not only are they trying to dim the sun, they're taking over their farmland, their rolling countryside, and they're putting in all these ridiculous solar panels. And these solar panels can't be recycled. So this is all future landfill. Look at the, si look at the size of these things. And look at all the plastic wrap on there. Film me, sir. Yeah, my name's Katie Hopkins. I'm just trying to stand up for the countryside and the ridiculousness of net zero. These are the same solar panels that they're going to be putting up at the same time that they want to dim the sun. I hope you're enjoying this. This is Batshit Bonkers Britain. My name's Katie Hopkins. And then here, look at, this, look at the state of this. This is what's so distressing, is the lie about net zero, the lie that this is good for us. And what's upsetting as well is that these guys are like angry with me. All I'm trying to do is show you. I'm just trying to show you what's been... I mean, this valley is so pretty. It's heartbreaking, look at it. Decimated under the guise of disease control. Jerry and Emma Saunders of Orchard Organic Farm are the latest victims of this calculated destruction. Their 4,000 hens, healthy, thriving, showing no signs of disease, are being wiped out. Every last bird will be culled. There's no quarantine option, no independent verification, no real alternative, just an arbitrary state mandated slaughter. Rubber stamped by the same officials who turn a blind eye to foreign imports riddled with chemicals banned here in the UK. So I love you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you've heard about eggs helping to heal the body. Tell me why you think they're culling healthy birds and what does this mean for food security in the future, folks? This is a conversation we have got to start having everywhere. Love y'all.